Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich still. So, um, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not where we left off last time, because I was recording a session, and then OBS crashed on me. It's right now, July 1938. Um, I'll show you my focus sheet real quick. I finished up Harmonious Balance. I've begun going down this middle pathway with improving the railroad. I got into the civilian factory. I'm doing political commissars. Um, Lithuania has declared independence from the Reich's Pact. Germany went to war with the Batavian Commune. Normal stuff. The Duno Adriabund is at war with the Belgrade Pact for some reason because Serbia declared war on Illyria. And the Soviet Union has mostly been defeated, except that they're still in Petrograd, so there's that. Uh, Ottoman Empire is having a bad time in the Middle East, but they're doing okay. Other than that, uh, the Princely Federation went to war with some of their southern states and then won. But most importantly for us is that the Fangjin government last episode declared war on us. They will let you know in about a month, months ahead, a month ahead of time that they will go to war with you. And because we went to war immediately, it's just me and the Fangjin government right now. I took one of their tiles when they were pretty weak on the border, so I feel kind of successful so far. Obviously, it looks like they have more divisions in us, but also more importantly, we have army reforms, and I'm right now on the last army reform, the very, very last one. I've got like over probably 300 army XP by sending volunteers and by getting, you know, daily army XP gain to the point where we're almost done with our army reforms. And right now, I did check. The Fangshin government will soon, probably within two months, call in the Empire of Japan in the war against us to fight against us. So, uh... I do want to address comments, though. I still want to address comments. Why did I help Mongolia take out Chinese McLeek? Why did I give volunteers to East Tur Turkestan to fight Chinese Xinjiang clique? That's because, really, I want the, I wanted the army XP. And in most of my games, Mongolia always wins. Almost always wins. So that's why I wanted to go to war with... Or send volunteers to Mongolia, because I wanted to be with the winners, even though right now, someone got encircled. So McLeek might still win, even though I sent volunteers to help Mongolia... McLeek might still win. Now, you might be asking yourself, what about Tibet? Tibet usually joins the war against McLeek. Well, they're a puppet of Sichuan. Sichuan actually went in, destroyed Tibet, and put in a puppet government. Go figure. Um, other than that, I have put a lot of divisions up here, obviously against the Fengqing government, hoping that they'll attack us. I have put some of the divisions on the coast, just in case Japan wants to invade us. I have some guys surrounding Shandong League, just in case. And some guys around Sichuan, just because I don't know what's going to happen. And I've been building up more infantry divisions. I'm starting to train some mountaineer divisions, but we're just really out of guns. That's pretty much it. Uh, the stuff I was recording, it was fun, but this episode might be more important just because we're at war. So, it's unfortunate that OBS sometimes crashes. Now, I'm not going to attack, because that would be suicide. I'm, there's literally no reason for me to attack up this way, so. Uh, keep defending, putting more soldiers in the south, just in case. Because if I attack here, that wouldn't make too much sense, to be honest with you. There's four divisions, four, yeah, it just it doesn't make sense. I want them to attack me. Let them attack me. Hmm. I mean, if I were to attack now, here, could I win? I really, really doubt it. 55 goes up to... 54. What if I sent all these guys up north to do this? Oh, it's paused. No wonder. Would we even still be able to win? No. There's quite literally no point to attack. So, we're going to remain a fairly defensive position for now. And that's fine with me. That's totally fine with me. I can't win across the border for now, which is okay. In time, we will once I get more divisions, more artillery, more mountaineers, and Germany just won against Lithuania, and then they'll put them right back out. Oh, another division. Very good. Put you down there just in case. In the next division, I'm going to start building a border against me and Mongolia just because, well, we might need it. We probably actually might not. To be frank with you, Mongolia is really disappointing ever since the Kaiserreich update, since they don't have von Sternberg anymore. And they, they're a democracy. They can't really 
go to war with Russia or anything like that. It's kind of honestly a little disappointing. And I'm joined here with my cat, Binky. Chinese Binky. <coughs> good, good, good. Come on, guys. Please attack me. If I pull divisions off, will you attack me? I mean, these military divisions, to be honest with you, are really bad. There are six combat widths. They have support artillery on them, which is nice. Nope, it, that's not going to do anything. But they're really, really bad. Oh, left Kuomantang actually took that tile we were helping defend down here. Um. Oh, 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 now they've started attacking. Oh, goodness gracious. Give them more of this. I was going to stop my planes from moving, but keep doing what you're doing. We might lose this tile up here. That's kind of okay. I'm kind of okay with that, since it was their own territory. But I'm kind of liking this, seeing what's going on right here right now. We're going to lose that tile. That's okay. I have begun building up ports on our line, so I thought that, was, that would be pretty important as well. Level 2, level 2, level 2. Just in case, I'm going to put some level 2 forts behind the river. That'll be important. Oh, and we can finally go to War Economy. Oh, I also added last episode, Li Ruyan, or when I tried to record when OBS failed. Just because I thought we could use more air superiority. Let's go to War Economy. Nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's... I did do... Desperate Defense, or Last Stand. Which does hurt our strength overall. Which is pretty costly, to be honest with you. Pretty darn costly. Go ahead and retreat. Go to the forts down here. That'll be fine. This is a mountain province, so that's pretty good. Fighting and defending planes isn't super easy. That's okay. So far, we've lost 18,000 versus their 16,000. Wow, we actually lost a lot more than I thought we would. After that last battle, 23,000. But that does give us quite a bit more army XP. We got some guns. Better guns. Automatic weapons. Very nice. Very nice. Next up, artillery. Land Doctrine, Air, Engineering, ah, Decryption, that'll be important. Now, they're attacking us over the river, which is fine. Over here, we're holding very well. Forts are going to be very, very important for this. I don't mind retreating, though. That means we can help hold the line a little bit better. We want to, you know, defend where we can most optim optimally defend. If you want to retreat, that's level 2, level 1, level 2 forts. Behind a river is always good to defend behind. 25,000, 32,000. Very good. Declaration of the Argentine Commune. It's a very serious victory for socialism. South Africa's on fire. We definitely need more guns. South African Civil War. Manchu Guard is pretty garbage. You guys are actually pretty good. Mountaineers. I want to put artillery on those guys. Go ahead and retreat for now. That's fine. If I need to pull back this way, that's totally fine with me too. Don't worry, don't you don't you don't need to do that. Don't, just kind of hold, 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 hold. Oh, we might have lost a division actually. That's okay. These divisions are better. If we lost a militia division, division, I'm honestly okay with that. The Kais, Kaisar I hidden. Ooh, so pretentious. Very nice. Just retain a defensive position. That's the goal. That's the goal. Now, once Japan gets into the war. This is going to open up a huge can of worms. And you know what? McClick is still holding on very nicely. Xinjiang hasn't moved very much. Petrograd is still there. Germany is still doing stuff. Austria is still doing stuff. So, uh, We're losing in a few select provinces. I can consolidate my forces a little bit better. 26, 25. We might lose down here. It will be very, very important to build up stuff right here as well. And that's the exact area where I want to build stuff. You are right there. Move that down. That's going to be important to do. Political Commissars. Nice. More defense on core territory. That's really, really good. Uh, steel. Support. Oh, we could probably do this. Work with Manchu generals. While some of the younger Manchu generals are a little more than jumped up noblemen, the older guard like Aisin Gyoro... Zi Chiap can impart valuable lessons on cavalry tactics to the Zili. At the same time, Zili generals can teach the younger Manchu the skills they learned over the last few decades of strife and warfare. We get a bonus to land auction will come in handy, and several of our generals get more attack and defense. And my friends, that will be very, very important. Go ahead and retreat. I'm totally okay with retreating. I'm totally okay, because even though we have forts up here and we're defending, attacking, having them attack into us across from a river 
That's going to be important. Especially if we build up forts. I'm just trying to delay for more time to build up forts down here. Ah, uh, good. We have a level fort. A level fort? We have a fort already down there. Uh, you're definitely going to need a fort right here first. Let's at least get one level fort down there. One level one fort. Good. So far, losses 39,000 versus 82. That's not bad. And we're getting more and more army XP. I'm loving it. Support Sino Japanese joint companies. Uh, their st stability isn't very good. They have about a quarter million manpower. We've got way more manpower than them, which is nice. And our main general, Wang Hui Ching. I'm glad I made him an ambusher. I'm really glad I made him an ambusher. That's good. Encryption? Awesome. 1938 stuff. What do we want? What do we want? Engineers. That sounds pretty good since we're defending and entrenching ourselves even more. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, fuel is not looking good whatsoever. Oh. I could go to closed economy. That does hurt our output a little bit. But will we gain that much? Honestly, no. We, we gain like nothing from doing that. Good. They stopped attacking for now. They have taken a tiny bit of our territory, but with political commissars, this ain't too bad. Come on, guys. Keep trying to wail against us. You know what? Let's go ahead and keep building that civilian factory so we have at least 15 out of 15 when we're done here. I'm not trying too much more, guys. Come on, bring it on. Zhang Bai Li has an unyielding defender trait. Yeah. He's good on the offense and good on the defense. Wait, look at their strength. Did they run out of equipment? They might have. Please attack me again. I, I'm so close to getting army reforms. Just seven more army XP. Please. I got division station down here too, which is good. Um, yeah, McLeek isn't looking good. They'll probably capitulate, whatever. Uh, those guys are doing well over there. The Dona Adria Bund is doing okay themselves against the Belgrad Pact. Germany's taking forever to take out Amsterdam. Third International. Oh, oh, Japan did go to war with the Philippines, so they actually might go to war with me next. Which would be a very, very bad thing. Very, very bad. Come on, please attack me next. I know I'm I'm very, very well dug in. They've lost 124,000, which is really nice. I really don't want to attack. I really, really don't want to attack. But maybe we could provoke them a little bit? All right, we got just like one or two more army XP, which is fine. This front is going to be stationary for quite a while. Um, there's really not much I can do. Aircraft, fighter stuff, that'd be good. Ship designer would be pretty good to do as well. Tank designer, artillery... Oh, yeah. I gotta get this artillery stuff. Come on, guys. Even if you let Japan into the war... Like, come on. Bring bring up, bring up your firepower. Alright, you're doing nothing. You're pathetic. You declared war on me. You took a few literal tiles, and that's it? Pathetic. What is Japan working on? Since we... Should keep an eye on them. Nationalized stuff. They're allied with Transamur. They're guaranteeing the independence of Feng Ching. Narrow gauge railways. Uh, Mongolia. And at Welfare. Huh. Nice. We're building up more forts. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, keep building up those forts, I suppose, for now. Next up. After that, I need more military factories, but. I want at least 15 out of 15 civilian factories at a time. Ah, there goes the Batavian Commune. And... Plop. They're back. The Batavian Commune is back. That makes no sense. That should really be... Oh, there they go. That makes a little bit more sense. Bernard von Lieb Biesterfeld. Economic recovery. Not bad. Oh, does... <laughs> Belgium owns Limburg now. That's interesting. Uh, Netherlands, Duchies, Indies. Guys, guys, guys. You're just making me stronger. Taking your time makes me stronger. I want that extra research slot. But... Hmm. Rebuild our alliance could be good. 
reorganized the Kailun Mining Bureau. The Kailun Mining Bureau was founded in 1878 as a joint venture between the Qing government and a variety of British business interests. Largely destroyed during the fighting of the warlord era, we must rebuild and reorganize the mines to fuel our war efforts. And we are so close to ending our debuffs. And all this time that they're not attacking us, we're just making more and more equipment so we can make more and more divisions. So we can make ourselves more and more strong. Stronger. We get about 1.45 political power a day. That's really good. Um, and once we're done with... Oh! Okay, now they're attacking us like crazy. Well, I'm glad I had the field marshal where... Uh, we're pretty good on defense. I'm glad he's an offensive doctrine wizard, but unyielding defender plus 10% more defense and increased chance of executing counterattacks. Very nice. Oh, they actually might win down here. They're attacking with 13... 12 divisions. 12 divisions. Very good. Give our guys a little bit more XP. Ooh, hello. You're level 4 now. Very good, very good. I'm not really concerned with how they're doing. We are becoming more of an organizer with Wang, as well as a skilled staffer, perhaps. And... Nep Nepal, you went to war with India. Hmm, okay, well... Oh, ooh, hello there. I continue army reforms. Yes, I think I will. Less war support. War, war heroes being killed. Yeah, that's un always unfortunate. But now we have the ability to change some of our divisions. Yes. How much artillery do we have? Nowhere near the amount that I really, really need. So once this major battle's done, I'm going to pull what I think would be a good idea. Instead of 18 combat width, this is... What is this? Nine battalions of infantry. Not bad. I'm going to replace one of these with artillery. Now, that does hurt some of our stats, but I want more and more soft attack. More and more and more and more. Oh, we're not winning down here because that's okay because we're fighting and defending planes. That's harder to defend. It's easier to defend planes when they're behind a river and on some forts. Oh, the Fangjing government. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. You guys are crazy, crazy Chinese people. Crazy. 54,000 losses versus 177,000. I love it. And you know what? They're not winning, even against militia divisions that are complete garbage. Yeah, they have some support artillery, but... Infantry equipment? Yeah, there's six combat width. They're garbage. Just garbage. It is almost 1939. Let's go ahead and get some more dispersed industry. Good, good, good. Very good. He's becoming an organizer, Skull Staffer. Decryption, awesome. Go ahead. Construction will be important. Advanced machine tools. Get some better guns. Even though it's not really wise to raise uh, or change what you're currently producing because I still have a deficit. Oh well. And. God dang it, come on, make those faster. Oh, and they're trying again. When it out, try, try again, right? Well, how much XP does he? Oh, he's becoming hopefully maybe level five in time. That's good. The field marshal Zhang Bai Li, becoming an organizer and an infantry leader as well, and maybe even a ranger, skilled staffer, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. How much XP do you have, Zhang Bai Li? Not a lot. He's an old guard, and he's politically connected. That breaks my heart. That really breaks my heart. I hate seeing that so much. Some of these divisions are getting more experience, and I like that. Oh, but we're out of guns. We're out of fuel, which is really not ideal. Losses. Yeah. Holy crud. You gotta love that Hoi 4 AI. Well, I feel so confident in this that I'm gonna look around the world. Oh, wait. Indo-Chinese Union. Who are you fighting? <gasps> Japan. The who... Hum Uwu Din, an archaeological dis discovery or excavations around Anyang, Henan province, have unearthed a massive bronze burial vessel from the Sha Shang dynasty. Thought to be the largest ancient bronze in the world, its discovery has been celebrated around the world as a massive victory for Chinese culture and history. With the threat of Japan looming, however, archaeologists have reburied the sarcophagus, hoping that once we have defeated Japan, we can exhibit it safely in a museum. And welcome to China. So Japan, instead of helping their puppet, Chinese puppet, they went to war with Vietnam, or basically the Indo-Chinese Union. Yeah, good job, Japan. 
Thanks for doing that. You have a, actually not a lot of divisions. Got a good amount of manpower. The Indo-Chinese Union doesn't have a lot of manpower or divisions comparatively wise, but not bad. Oh, you fall ill. That's not good. 97% war support. Oh, wait. Our port got attacked. Huh. Well, take a quick look at losses. Over 300,000. They have how much? That's not a lot of manpower for a Chinese nation. I'll be honest with you. That ain't much. And they're going to... Gotta love the AI. Oh, let's, let's, what if we rebuild the Zili Coalition? Oh, fallout of the Northwest Conflict. Make the best of how, how the war ended. Secure the interior. De destroy isolated warlords. That sounds like a bad idea right now. But what do we do before the league collapsed? We were undisputed masters of China. Many of our former allies have not yet completely deserted us, and we should reach out to them to build a strong bulwark against Japanese advancing encroachment. Now, what I'm thinking with that, if possible, could we get Shan Zi to ally with us? Now, that's going to be important because Japan and the Fengxian government can't do anything against them. Could I ally the Sichuan clique, because, or even Hunan, because they're not even touching Japan or Fengxian or any coast? That'll be very, very important as well. 74,000 losses, 308,000 losses. I love it. Please make me wealthy. Or at the very least, make yourself unwealthy. You are level 6 Logistics Wizard? Oh, yeah. I love Logistics Wizards or people who know how to use logistics very well. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The Socialist Republic of Italy declared war on two Sicilies. Oh, Austria, you're looking a little rotund there. You're looking a little thick. I kind of like it like this. Deal with Hungary. That might not be the best time to deal with Hungary right now, guys. Um, you're in the middle of a war, and actually, there's only 51% world tension, half a million losses versus 300,000, that's not good, but that might be okay. Oh goodness, we got mobile defense for even 20% more, uh, defense, yes, good, integrated support. Yeah, more soft attack and organization, and I'm going to use up some of my army XP because we're almost done with this. We're almost done. That's so good. I'm still mobilizing, I didn't raise my conscription level when I was trying to record off screen we're halfway more than halfway done with continue army reforms that's so good the coalition will be important Puyi is a great great leader his imperial majesty the son of heaven the Zhong Tong Emperor he has many titles ship manufacturer that's not bad it's not great fighter manufacturing would be important as well I'm not really building any of that because I don't have military factories for it but let's go with fighter manufacturer or I want to produce some more. This is so important for more air defense and max speed. I can actually do that. Just doing that in general, just by doing more air XP and upgrading planes manually. So that doesn't really matter too much. Losses. Over a third of a million for these guys. Do you have any you're out of manpower. You're out of manpower. You're out of manpower. Holy crud, you're out of manpower. They can't reinforce. Oh, another division. Good. Could you win down here? They might be able to get more equipment, but equipment doesn't matter if they have no manpower. Ah, rebuild the coalition. Very nice. Ooh, integration by force. War of national resistance. More war support and much more political power. Why do we reorganize warlord divisions? It only takes 21 days. Any warlord worth anything has his own personal militias to control the territory he has. Unfortunately, these troops vary widely in quality from semi-professional troops to mobs used more for robbing and burning the villages they theoretically protect. By devoting considerable resources to standardizing and modernizing these divisions, we can turn them into valuable assets on the battlefield. Now, I'm hoping that will turn these militia divisions into something more usable, we'll say. Do that down there. That'd be good. Can we win against them right now? <sighs> Probably not. Probably not. Maybe a few more seconds. I want to see how far this goes. Because they could be mobilizing more men. They are on limited conscription. They have no manpower. Uh, 37. I think it was a 38. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hmm. This is definitely a mixed bag. 37. If it goes down to 36, I will stop it. 37. This might not be the most optimal place to attack anyways. Yep, I'll stop it. That's okay. 
Next up, another division. Hmm, where am I going to throw you? Against Sejuan, perhaps? Do I have decisions to... Uh, I guess rebuild the Zili Coalition. In order to be invited to your alliance, tags must have finished any internal struggles. Well, I guess I'm getting no tags. Just in case, you come down here now. This is kind of a catch-all army, to, to be honest with you, right now. I doubt they'll attack me, but they're pretty busy with Anqing, so... We organize those warlord divisions, that'll be good. Austria's doing really well. The United States of Greater Austria is looking pretty good, except Hungary, of course. Hungary is, well, Hungary. Oh, okay, so they attack us again. So, reorganization of warlord divisions. Many Zili war warlords possess personal armies that they use to guard the provinces they govern. The fighting capabilities of these troops, however, are subpar at best. They lack standardization and are more used to shaking down peasant farmers for cash and fighting pitched battles. Wu Fu is part of the overall plan to prepare the Zili military for the inev inevitable conflict with Japan has proposed reorganizing and retraining these personal divisions along the national division standards. This plan has met with considerable opposition from Zili generals, but we can overrule their concerns with significant political capital. If we proceed with a reorganization, the new division should be ready in four months. If not, we can reorganize them at our own leisure, but it will be more difficult to procure enough equipment. Begin the reorganization. We have better things to worry about. Enable editing of the Zili infantry division template and training or disbanding units belonging to it. Um, delete the Zeely Infantry Division stuff. So this is a, the militia garbage I'm talking about. I lose political power, which I really don't have that much of a use for, to be frank with you. And I can just edit them. You know what? Delete the template. If I delete them now, that could hurt our current war status, and I don't want to do that. Let's just go ahead and have do this. I'd like to do begin reorganization, but I'm currently in the war, and I'm using them quite literally in battle right now. And I can't afford that. Ah, uh, more divisions, good. Throw you... You know what? Which one? New, new guy, just in case. Wang Ling Yun? Yes, please. I don't know where to throw you, really. Probably not against Mongolia. Yeah, who not? Why not? Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Cool. Next up, prepare to breach dams. No, 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 no. Yeah, not going to do that. Purchase foreign weapons. Supply consumption goes down. I like that. But how about we have na War of National Resistance? At last, the moment has come. Japanese troops seeking to turn our great nation into little more than a resource extraction colony have invaded. Any lingering doubts about the legitimacy of our government have been put to rest as we unite to destroy the invaders. <sighs> Very much so. Actually, we've got plenty of army XP. Well, at least enough for now. We're almost done with our reforms. And now I can edit these divisions... Thank the Lord. Militia. You're going to be outdated. I'm going to immediately raise you up to 10 combat with to make you even stronger. That hurts our guns. Whatever. The Australasia first movement? Interesting. Republic of Australasia. Paternal autocrats under Percy Stevenson. Focus on propaganda. Hmm, whatever. Sounds good to me. Uh, for now, just throw you under here, because why not? Uh, oh, these look really bad. But that's only because I increased their battalions, their division size. That's really only why. <sighs> Thanks, Jean government. Come on, man. Come on. Did you raise your conscription level yet? Or are you just, like, killing yourselves off? Yeah, you're killing yourselves off. They're only limited. Two and a half. They did get this modifier to help them out, though. The the Year of the Righteous Effort. With the Grand Marshal's Proclamation, the nation is uni unified, or united, in a strenuous effort to prepare for the rigors of war. And the Canadian Commonwealth declared war in the West Indies. Alright. And that'll end within the next month, which is good. Following this, we have War of National Resistance. We could destroy isolated warlords. Let's not piss everyone off immediately next. I want to get to expand the Peking University for more research. So... Mercenaries, foreign advisors, purchase ships from Sicily. I must be at peace with Japan to see these ships. You know what? I'm going to do this one first because I don't know how long I'm going to be at peace with Japan, so let's do this one. So, Sicily did not participate in the suppression of the Boxer Movement, and their dockyards are some of the largest in the world. Our Navy will never be able to stand up to Japan's in a head-to-head -head showdown, but escorts for coastal defense and submarines for light raiding for light raiding, could help us in our upcoming conflicts. Absolutely, positively. I could do more war support, but we already have 100%. That would make no sense. Ship designer. 
If we want to research stuff, we should probably research them as fast as possible. Look at those weak militia divisions. Oh my goodness. Pathetically weak. Oh, actually, how's this? Oh, and they're attacking us again. Okay, Japan declared war, declared war on the Dutch East Indies. I cannot speak right now. And they're in the Entente, which means Japan has now declared war on the Entente. Ah, yes. Very good. This is working out surprisingly very well in my favor. Now, if you try this at home, this probably won't work out as well for you. I'll be completely honest. This probably won't work out that well for you. And I just realized we no longer have any debuffs. We have a fully normal professional army. Beautiful. Amazing. Uh, actually, they're... No, we are a little bit more experienced than the enemy, and we just became level 6. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, look... The fang come, come, guys, come on. Guys, come on. 72 guns a day? That's still not enough, man. I need so much. I want to raise those levels. Actually, if anything, make give these guys support artillery because, well, there's really no problem to do that. We'll lose a little bit. If anything, by trying to throw on some, one thing of artillery here, we would lose 36 artillery pieces per division. That's a lot per division, and I don't want to do that until we are done battling over here. And I do want to let you know, I did explore their navy a little bit. Yeah, I think I've already showed you that, yeah. It's not bad. It'll be okay, but it's a lot better than a lot of other starting navies. Alright guys, come on, keep it I guess keep attacking me. I mean there's really no point for you to attack me whatsoever. As long as you don't raise conscription level. As long as you don't oh you, you already did. You raise your conscription level. Zaibatsu investments. Um alright. Well whatever. Collaborative equipment design. Sorry, I don't like Chinese puppets held by Japan. And Japan is they're struggling. They're actually struggling. They actually took a port, which is good, but I'm glad they're struggling. Austria is doing well. Oh my goodness, Sicily. Oh, please, please. Can we finish this before Sicily capitulates? Oh, because if they capitulate, we're going to be locked out of this focus. Probably. Does not. Oh, okay. So if they don't exist, then the focus will bypass. Okay, well, whatever. That's scarily good. I did not expect this to happen, because even the Papal States... They're a puppet of two Sicilies and the latest update. Uh, Kingdom of Ukraine. I thought you went syndicalist. I guess not. Huh. Don Kaban Union. Yeah, they're still trying to kill off Petrograd. Um, yeah. Not bad. Guns. Needed. Artillery. Of course, still needed. Zeely Infantry Divisions. 10 combat width. That takes time to build up a little bit more. Guys, wh why? You've lost over half a million. You're going to lose at least up to 600,000 before this, all these battles are over. It's 1939. Let's get advanced machine tools. That'll be good. And get even better infantry equipment next. What is the defensive capabilities? Level 7 logistics. Saudi Arabia is gone. We've got Qingdao MP18s. Let's get some better artillery next. This is probably a very bad idea to do now. But these do have a little bit more soft attack than these guys. I'll do it anyways. That hurts us a little bit, but whatever. Whatever. Good. Good. I want this battle to... These two battles to finish first. If I throw an artillery, that could be really good. Boy of Amdo ordained 14th Dali, Dalai Lama. It's a cycle, not a change. Alright. Maklik. You know, I sent divisions to Mongolia to help them out. But Maklik is doing a really good job. See, now I was never worried Maklik would, you know, have trouble. Even Xinjiang clique is doing well itself. So no worries. I knew what was going to happen, you know? I knew exactly what was going to happen. It was all part of my 17D chess plan. Oh, they stopped attacking. Good. Now, this is probably a bad idea. But let's go ahead and... We'll lower this by two because we won't really need it too much. Oh, over 900 pieces of artillery. And now we will have almost none. Yep. Now we're really out of, in a deficit. Let's see what happens. They might be more inclined to attack us now. And because of this, I'm going to actually lower this by two. Just because I can make more artillery. That'll be okay. That should be okay. That did, like, cut our infantry equipment usage or deficit by half. Then again, I don't make that much artillery anyways. So, we'll see what happens. And I'm doing this now because the Fangjin government is weak enough so that if they attack me again, they probably won't do very well. 
which will be good. And I can actually probably change you to infantry, if anything. This will require a little bit more guns, but the payoff, I think, will be worth it in the long run. That'll be good. Cavalry. Uh, you're 10 combat width. Do I, do I even use cavalry? Oh, I do, but they're just kind of more further south. Fallout. Engineer core. Support technology. Supply consumption goes down. That'll be good. Purchase foreign weapons. Oh. Huh. I do want that, though. So let's go acquire foreign airplane designs. We lack designs for domestic aircraft production, and promises of German designs never came to fruition for obvious reasons. Some of the more salacious Zeely generals have suggested sending infiltrators to the airfields of the legation cities with the hopes of finding schematics in the repair hangars over there. It's an audacious plan, but we don't have that many more options, so we do what we must. Oh, well, hold on. What's this? Commission destroyers. A squadron of five destroyers will arrive in high B after being built. Ooh. Commissioned convoys. Iron Guard Romania has capitulated. Cruisers. Two cruisers will arrive. Submarines. I like the destroyers, but destroyers get easily get destroyed. Despite being destroyers. That's good. That's doing better. Motorized. Support equipment. We're doing really, really well on If that's the case. And Tom, I'm going to convert these guys to just the normal infantry divisions, which will be good. That took out about 200-ish support equipment, and they are attacking us once again. By making ourselves appear to be weaker, we can bait the enemy into attacking us again, and again, and again, and again. Do they have any manpower yet? Collaborative equipment designs? No, of course not. Venezuela to declare war on them. Integrated support? Very good, very, very good. Regimental combat teams for more soft attack and organization. And after all these battles are done, I will end the episode there. Very good. Very, very good. Nice. At least I have something to spend my political power on. That's kind of nice, to be honest with you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, keep building stuff, guys. Keep building, building, building. This is... How many divisions are we getting attacked by? 17 against 4? I'll be honest, right now, this, this current campaign is easier than trying to play as regular China in historical Vanilla Hoi 4, which is good with me. I'm not going to raise this. I'm not going to make this yet because I am completely out of artillery. Let's go and get some more con construction next. Good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. And begin after that building up military factories. I've spent so long not making military factories, it's not even funny. Uh, but you guys are doing pretty well. He's almost a skilled staffer. That's really good. And a ranger, and maybe even a hills fighter. Does our field marshal have anything? Maybe. Oh, yeah. There goes two Sicilies. I, I love logistics, logistics wizard so much. We should almost never have any supply problems in the future. Now that's a scary Socialist Republic of Italy. That's... Wait, what happened? No, I couldn't buy those ships! No! 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 Oh, no! Why you do this to me, man? Why you do this? Uh, let's go with the naval guy, I guess. Um, capital ships, that's probably the most important thing to do. But that's all the time for that we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope OBS didn't crash again. But anyways, if you did like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we might begin pushing into the Fangqing government and have a good time with the rest of China. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great day.